Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, November 27, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And if you'd like to join us over Patreon, you're welcome to do so. The link is down below. You get access to our trading signals, our full technical analysis, and you also get the possibility to join us on live trade. So we'll start by looking at the Bitcoin. As you can see, Bitcoin just fell off a cliff today. We were down around 12%. Um, we fell all the way from uh, 18,850 all the way down to 16,097. So that is a massive drop. And this was completely anticipated. This was expected for, for several, several days. We've been saying this. We were just waiting for this major drop. Um, but the expectation was that we would go all the way to uh, 20,000 to the all time highs before this happened. We did not reach the all time highs. We got to around 19,451. That's how far we got, but that is also fairly close. And then we just fell off a cliff. Another question is how far will we fall um, before we continue further up, or will we continue further up to, to, um, to go further? That is a question. I think that we are going to target 15,000. That is where I think uh, buyers will come back in and pressure the, uh, pressure the price up again. So we have um, around 1,800 uh, or $900 uh, to go. But I think that we're going to have a pullback towards 18,000 around this area here, these previous lows here before we continue downwards. So we're going to see suddenly this going up and then continue towards the 15,000. Uh, I would be very surprised if we get a, a similar candlestick like this tomorrow and just go straight to 15,000. I don't think that is realistic. I think a pullback towards uh, 18,000 roughly there or maybe um, 17,500 would also make sense uh, and then continue towards 15,000. Um, whether or not we go further, that is to be seen. Um, this should be uh, supportive and we should also have the 50 moving average as supportive. We also have the Fibonacci retracement. If you can look at it here, we can see that the 50 Fibonacci retracement is just uh, at the 15,000 area. So it would make sense that 15,000 very round number and we have this uh, support area here and the 50 moving average so that would make a lot of sense that we turn around here at the 15,000 and then go higher um, or we just continue lower that is also possible but I think it's highly unlikely I don't think that we're going to see a similar move like this that we saw uh, back in uh, 2007 2000, uh, 2017 and 2018 um, I don't think that that is going to happen. It could, but but I, I would be very surprised if we saw something like that. But we are way, way, way overstretched. And this was completely anticipated. This market got way out of hand and it is going to fall at least to 15,000 uh, in the short term. Whether or not we can continue much lower, that is to be seen. There are uh, several resistant uh, support barriers uh, underneath here. So it would take a lot of work in order to get lower than that at this point. Um, yes, so my idea for this market is basically to wait until we have a fairly big pullback towards 18,000 and then you can basically sell it again. But that's what I'm going to do. So let's look at Ethereum. We can see that it is a very similar thing here on Ethereum. We did get a warning sign uh, that we were going to go lower. Uh, I just don't, didn't expect it to fall this far and this fast. Um, but it basically reached the area where I expected it to, uh, to, um, to find support. And it's just around this area, 4, uh, 477. Um, we will find that the 50 moving average will be supportive here. So the last time we fell, it was way, way back. Far we go back. No, never mind. So the last time we, we technically had a pullback is basically this small pullback here. We didn't even get close to the 50 moving average. So whether or not we do that this time, that's to be seen. But I would expect when we get close to the 50 moving average, that it will be very supportive. 
Uh, a break below the 50, that opens the door to the 200. But at this point, I think we're going to see a similar move in, like in Bitcoin. We're going to have a pullback towards uh, the 500 and probably 50 area before we continue further. And if we break these lows, if we break this resistance area, then we're certainly going towards the 1500. Uh, no, the 50 moving average, sorry. And then we'll, if we bounce from there, then we continue further up. This is also a market that got way out of hand. We did get a warning sign twice. This was a very bearish candle on the second one, and then it just fell off a cliff. So, yes, interesting market, um, uh, but really, really volatile, even though fairly nothing happened other places in the market today, this uh, cryptocurrency market was extremely volatile. And yes, it's not often that you see uh, Bitcoin falling this drastically. Uh, it hasn't been acting fairly uh, stable, these cryptocurrencies, but at this point, they got way out of hand. And that always happens when that, uh, when that occurs. So hope you find this help you help helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. So good luck and thank you very much.